so when we are faced with so many opinions so many ideas perspectives we need to use our discernment now there are uh, so called rational and logical people out there who will be like uh, hey what's the proof what is the guarantee why do you think this is going to work out they come up with one or one questions analyzing so much but this analysis is so poisonous that does all this logic come from do you think our brain is really logical so if you were to give a, a small child a, a, a one year or a two year old child and if you were to ask that child a basic math question what is 1 plus 1 do you think it's going to give you the answer we the society and every one of us program the child that there are thing there are these numbers 1 2 3 4 there is this operation called addition and and so on so all the logic that we have is a result of programming so do you think that is logic in the first place all the ideas all the analysis so where is it coming from isn't it coming from our programs and these programs have been on for lifetimes now this is a really really deep topic to explore why i say lifetimes i, I don't want to go too much into that but at least for the sake of understanding let's go with all the logic has been coming from since our birth from our parents teachers the society the people around us every one of them programs us in a certain way which we don't even know we don't we, we have no clue about what's the program and what what's running us in fact our life is controlled 95% 95% age by the subconscious and guess what is the subconscious what is there in the subconscious it's all these programs so 95% of our life is actually controlled by all these programs so these logical people how do you deal with these logical people because you're going to find them you're going to find them all all around the place how, how are you going to how are you going to deal with them it's just to be silent it's just to just accept accept what they are saying accept as in i mean when i say accept it means to the people who 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 are really close to you right so you can't go and re- really you know argue on something and you don't want to take it on to a re- uh, on a on a on a negative note so you just pretend as though you are you are taking their advice but then what you really do is to use your sense of intuition if you were to look at for example let's take the case of jeff bezos right so all these logical people all these statisticians they predicted that they gave a prediction of like around like 20 30% that uh, that amazon will be the probability that amazon succeeds is just 0.2 or just 20% they were giving open statements like amazon is going to fail like 80 to 85 percentage it's going to fail 
but you you know the result today what has happened but jeff bezos knew it he was 100% sure he knew that this was going to succeed so you know this sense of intuition it comes through a feeling you can call it the gut feeling or as eric says you can call it god feeling the god feeling the god is communicating through you, to you through the feelings and these feelings are so strong they are a clear indicator as to what you should do now god communicates in a variety of ways but feelings are the major ones and we're not we're not going to go into detail on me on this god on the to- on this topic of god because this god is our high self which is again us but for this for the understanding so we are dealing with a totally different topic today so let's go with god so god communicates what needs to be done through the feeling you get a strong feeling and you have to do this and the logic may be totally counterintuitive your logical brain may be like it's your logical brain will tell you that it's not going to happen it's 200% not going to happen but your intuition will tell you do it do it when you do that you uncover new things which aligns with your higher self along the direction steve jobs has told this somehow uh, i think i'm i'm paraphrasing of course your heart seems to know things way ahead of your brain or whatever it is so this sense of intuition now i was telling you that god communicates through feelings this is broadly the case but i'm going to give you a disclaimer if you are going through a spiritual awakening you will encounter really strong feelings that seem to be so intuitive like almost it's a premonition of a negative thing going to happen for example i know people who have this sort of you know when they are going through a spiritual awakening or some phases in their life they tell that you know they they have a feeling that they're going to die they're going to meet with an accident they are going to face this negative situation they are going to lose all their money so they get the sort of a feeling now these are not true as in again this goes on to a very uh, deep topic you know that we are this higher self that that has been there for ever since the beginning of time and we in we have reincarnated so many times we have been through so many lifetimes that we have accumulated a lot a lot of karma and desires along the way so when you go through a spiritual awakening all the trapped energies come out they come to the surface you know when this sort of a thing happens you 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 kind of have some feelings of negative things which are going to happen 99.9 percentage they don't end up happening so 
So this is something that has to be kept in mind. When it comes to choosing what you want to do, you got to follow the line of the greatest excitement. What excites you? What kicks you? What makes you jump up and down when you even think about doing it? You need to keep doing that. When you keep doing that, you will end up finding your purpose. Now there are a lot of things that needs to be discussed here. For example, let's say A something can be anything. A excites you. Now you start working along this A, on this A. Downstream, maybe a few days or a few months. The magic that you had in A fades away. Now you feel that you no longer have to do this A. You no, you no, no longer have the magic and you no, you no longer have the feeling of doing this A. So you end up thinking, I've spent a lot of time on this. I've spent so much energy, but it ended up in nothing. I'm kind of letting it be and kind of pausing it or kind of letting it go at the moment. Then you take B, same thing happens. You take C, same thing happens. This is something that is really important. Everything is interconnected. When you actually end up discovering your purpose, you will look back and you will wonder how things have beautifully led you to where you are or where you end up. How it has been really, really sequential, which your logical mind <laughs> couldn't have by no chance couldn't have by no chance have brought you there that's the thing about following this intuition it knows what is best for you what is it that you came for what excites you what you have to do how you have to do, what direction you have to take in order to reach there to do and so on. It knows everything. But the way it works is not the fact that it gives you the entire picture. You, know, you, you got to go here from here to there, then, then, then from there to some other place. It doesn't give you that entire picture. It communicates with you at the, at the right time. It keeps giving you signal at each and every moment and at the right time it guides you so strongly. So our main job or duty is to just listen and follow it blindly. It can lead you to, to so called negative situations. It can lead you to failures, but those are required for you to pursue your purpose. If not for them, you will not be able to pursue your purpose. Your logical mind will start jumping up and down, saying, Hey, I listen to this intuition, but this stupid intuition 
let me it 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 made me lose everything and and i've ended up nowhere so that's what the logical mind will come and tell you and you will be so convinced by it but you will not know the essence of those so called negative things unless you keep following it and end up end up at where you want to be where you have to be that is the power of the intuition things become so easy actually you no longer have to do you no longer have to think you no longer have to worry about anything you just need to blindly trust that the intu- the entire universe again universe of god or higher self or soul the entire universe is working in your favor and if you were to you just have to trust it so blindly trust that it will take you to the right place at the right time the right way if you were to do that you will really live such a fulfilled life such a soul satisfying such a happy content life that is not at all in the in the zone of your logical mind so i hope this information can has been of use to you in case you got any value in case you had some experience with intuition and how it has shaped you up do leave a comment letting letting the community know know, know your journey also do like and share this video and i'll see you soon goodbye